Hi everyone, this video is going to be what it's like to be infected with the coronavirus, COVID uh, Omicron BA5 variant, which is what I've been sick with for the last few days. So I'm going to try to talk about my uh, background, um, how I think I may have contracted this, what the symptoms have been like, and also what treatment I've done. So hopefully this can clear up some things for people that do contract it, at least in a similar situation to myself. So the first thing is my background is that I'm middle-aged, I'm over 50, I don't like in my age out. Um, I'm a pretty healthy, pretty active person. I eat a pretty healthy diet and I get quite a bit of exercise. I do ride my bicycle an awful lot and have through over the years many times and uh, a lot. And also do a lot of hiking and I like to get outside. And um, the other thing is that I'm pretty introverted. So I don't hang out with a lot of people or friends, don't go to a lot of group events or anything like that. So um, I thought that would also benefit me from potentially not getting it. The second thing is that um, I was vaccinated uh, early on. I was living in Connecticut at the time. That was maybe the first state to actually get shots in arms. So I got the Pfizer vaccine early on. I got a booster shot. Uh, how many ever months later that was, six, eight months. And then I got a second booster shot uh, about three months ago. All of these are Pfizer. So does that matter at all? Probably not that much, I don't think, in the scheme of things. So that's my general background on this. I also think there's a 50% chance that somewhere early on, I may have actually contracted COVID and just not tested for it. Um, I had a maybe two days where I didn't feel very good, felt like I had a mild cold and then didn't test or anything and no idea. So I thought that was possible at the time. How did I get this? I'm not really in to totally sure on this. Um, I suppose it was just out in the public somewhere. I'd say I wear a mask off and on. Um, supermarket I generally do. Um, before I got my second booster, a lot of the time at work on busy days I was. Recently, less so. Um, off and on, if I didn't feel very good, I did. Other days, quiet days, I didn't do it. Uh, I work with the public, but we're pretty safe about things there, and so didn't expect that to happen. Um, so I don't really know how I got it. I really don't know. So the symptoms, what happened at first is it. I got up in the morning, I felt okay, a little bit tired. This is on a Saturday. And in the afternoon, I just felt extremely tired. No idea why I was like really tired. I mean, not like a middle-aged guy needs a nap tired, which sometimes happened. This was just like, I didn't get it. And so I laid down and I slept for an hour and a half. And, and when I woke up, I just did not feel well at all. And so I went and took a rapid antigen test and sure enough it came out positive and I was like oh crap and put on a mask right away and went over and had a PCR test done and of course two days later that came back positive and that same day I took another rapid antigen test and they were all positive so all of these were positive um, and that's how I found out for sure I had it. My symptoms other than being really fatigued was a lot like a head cold my nose was deeply congested a lot of the time. And that was the first night out, that Saturday night. And then Sunday was probably the worst day. It was like my nose was just so plugged up. Had a lot of congestion headaches from it. Uh, that, that was like bothersome. Didn't feel like I was going to die or I couldn't breathe or anything like that. I just felt like a bad head cold. So Monday started to feel a little better. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, now it's Saturday. Um, this is in the morning, and so my nose is a little bit plugged, but otherwise my energy is pretty good. I slept about nine hours last night, and so I'm pretty close to normal. I'm going to try and go on an easy bike ride today, see how I feel, and I imagine probably tomorrow morning, once I blow my nose a few times, it'll probably be pretty close to normal. So... Um, what is that? Basically a week I've been out of whack. So those are my primary symptoms, just fatigue, a lot of fatigue, really tired, just feel like I wanted to lay down and do nothing. 
and a lot of congestion, felt like a head cold. Um, coughing I had was just stuff drizzling into my throat, really wasn't from my chest or anything like that. Didn't lose my sense of smell, didn't lose my sense of taste, uh, didn't lose anything like that, didn't have any wheezing or real difficulty breathing. So I'd like to think that really being combination of things made this not as bad as it could have been. The first is that I think I'm pretty healthy to begin with. Also, the fact that I did have vaccines and boosters and the fact that the BA5 variant, even though apparently I got pretty good dose of it, um, is probably weaker than some of the earlier variants. Although what I, I mean, I've read so much stuff in the last week, I don't know entirely how true that is. Now, I've come across a couple other people that had uh, either the BA4 or the BA5 Omicron variant, and they were generally less sick than I was. Now, I did not get um, antivirals. And when I spoke to the doctor about this, she said there were two reasons why. One is that antivirals really only work right when you know that you've contracted it. And by the time I had talked to her, it was two days later, because this was on a Saturday that I noticed it. It was on Monday morning that I talked to them, to her. And the other thing is she said that the antivirals are mostly giving to people that are in really bad situations or immunocompromised or the truly elderly, people with diabetes or heart conditions or other situations. So it's like I really wasn't a good candidate for the antivirals. So the treatment that I did basically was this. First, I got a lot of rest. I think that was probably the most important thing. The second important thing is I drank a lot of liquid, a lot of water. I was drinking a lot of electrolytes and some juice. Um, I think that really helped a lot. I think those are the two biggest things for headaches. Um, sometimes I get some pretty bad headaches. I don't know if I'd classify them as migraines or not. And usually when I get headaches, I'll, I'll take Excedrin. But I found in this case that ibuprofen seemed to work, maybe because it's more of an anti-inflammatory. I don't have any idea. Uh, but ibuprofen seemed to work quite good with this. Um, I was also using... Um, a nasal inhaler. Now, the first one that I was using was, I can't remember what it's called. I'm not very good with these laboratory medical terms. And the doctor told me to, that's a real tough one on your immune system, not to take it very, for more than a couple days. And so that one, unfortunately, was the one that worked really well. But I only really used it on Sunday. And so maybe Saturday night into Sunday, and it helped on Sunday for sure. And then on Monday, I switched over to uh, Rhinocort, and she said that Rhinocort, Nasacort, uh, Flonase, any of those were totally fine to take and, and to use, and, and they helped some as well. Also, those little uh, VIX inhalers that are, I think all they are is just menthol eucalyptus or something like that. There's no other drug in there, and they just kind of clean you, clear you up some, and I found that that worked fairly well also. Now, in some situations, also late at night, I would sometimes take an allergy medication, um, such as I was taking Allegra, but if you can take Claritin, apparently that could work. Is it Zyrtec is another one she said could work. Uh, for me, Benadryl just completely wipes me out. Uh, that That is like, I'd have to be in dire situation to take Benadryl, so I didn't try that, but uh, the Allegra helped some. She also said that I could take a decongestant, like um, you can't get it, well, you can get it over the counter through the pharmacy most states, like the true uh, pseudoephedrine, pseudoephed. And, but that stuff is really kind of, I mean, it's an upper and I don't really like taking this stuff. I don't like the way it makes me feel. And so I didn't take any of that at all. I found that the medicine that I took basically just worked uh, considering that the biggest keys were really, like I said, just rest, a lot of rest. And I'm not like somebody that likes to sit around and do nothing. And so that was kind of hard for me. But basically, that's what I did. Just whenever I felt like laying down, I would just lay down. If I take a nap at any time of the day, I'd take a nap. Didn't set the alarm, got up whenever I felt like it. Um, had to get up and pee in the night a few times, but that was kind of the way it was. And I drank a lot of water, especially early in the morning when I'd get up, lots of water. So that's basically the gist of it. I'd say I got a pretty good walloping from it. Um... I'd say earlier uh, than last year, less than that, I had bronchitis, and um, that was actually worse than this. I was lo sicker longer than that, m more of a head cold, a lot of coughing from that. Um, this was just a lot of nasal congestion, a lot of tiredness. So um, 
I don't know what's going to be the next step for me on this. Take it easy. I'm going to have to wear a mask for a week, even though I'm probably not really going to be contagious in the next couple days. I'm just going to be extra careful for those around me. And then we'll see about that. Apparently, our county has just gotten down to green after being in yellow. Um, so I could take the mask off at work. And maybe in a week or two, I'll do that. And it's probably the case. We'll see, unless it's a real busy day, depending on how I feel. I'm going to be a little bit careful in the future. And I am uh, hoping that this fall, uh, November, certainly before the holidays, maybe that there is a booster shot that is more protective against this variant. And we'll see whether or not um, the variant peters out some on its own or another one takes its place. But I would certainly get the booster at that time. I should note that on all the vaccines, I've had no problems taking them. Um, the very first shot I had, a little bit tired. The second one, I was really tired for a couple days. Um, the first booster, my shoulder was sore, and that was about it. And the fourth booster, I didn't notice hardly anything at all. I mean, shoulder wasn't even sore. Um, so that's been my case, my situation. I'd say if you get this, just go ahead and rest. Just let, you know, put things on idle. Let the whole world take care of its health for a couple days and just rest and drink a lot of fluids and take care of yourself. So if anybody watches this, I hope this helps you out. And, you know, if you have any questions for me, go ahead and ask and I'll see what I can do to answer. Thanks a lot. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.